sometimes uh, it'll just be the things will just come all at once and the, the words and the melody and then I write them out uh, other times I'll use my laptop and, and type up like a rough, rough idea and then I constantly edit that you know and you know juxtapose phrases or you know sometimes when I'm cutting and pasting and I move a line to another line and it mistakenly sticks on another the wrong line and then I look at it sometimes those little mistakes turn into the gems you know? I was told about you know the how great 5.1 surround sound is especially when you go to a movie and uh, you hear the sound in a movie theater and you're sort of enveloped in it and I thought that would be really great to be able to do with your music rather than create an album in the traditional sense uh, that I would have in mind you know the surround environment so you would have instruments you know panning by you or behind you uh, you know the voice could be you know behind your or on your shoulder you know speaking to you like a conscience or or the devil or whatever it, it would be but I just thought that it it brought a whole nother dimension to music after going through the process of mixing my record in stereo then going to the 5.1 it, it it blew my mind so much that it, it's hard to go back to listening to stereo and I immediately imagined what it would be like, um, what it must have been like going from mono to stereo. I think that it made me think of the possibilities of the words and how they could be, you know, played around with in this environment. Um, really what surround does is, is it makes you, it allows you to be inside the music, like in, as if you were sitting right next to the drummer, or you know, it's just, you feel like you're part of the band, or, and so, I mean, it's, it, it's an exciting uh, experience, I think. He came to the bar about Tiger Bar, where I play about a year ago or so, something like that. And he walked up to me and just said, you know, hey, I have a studio and I'd like, you know, I like what you do and maybe we come up and do something. And I was just like, yeah, whatever, okay, go away, rock guy. Because, you know, I'm, <laughs> that's what, if you have a dollar for every time you hear, hey, I have a studio, why don't you come over, I'd be rich and wouldn't have to work. So I totally just... Didn't, I mean, it wasn't rudely blown off, but just kind of like, you know, I'm busy. Diss. It was a total diss. <laughs> it was a total diss. And then about a year, about a year later, um, uh, my manager, Kenny, said, there's a guy in town who really wants, you know, wants to work with you, and I think it would be good for you to meet him, and he does a lot of good work. And I was like, great, sure. So they set it up, and I'm at the Tiger Bar one day, and he walks through the door, and I'm just like, oh, my God. This is just like, and he sits down, and I'm like, okay, right. So I could have been working on cool stuff for like a year instead of blowing them off. So that's kind of how it came about. I could have been like jumping on that a long time ago. but I had no, I thought I was just going to come over here and like be a keyboard guy when I came up and just like, he's going to give me a part and say, okay, play these notes and this and do this and thanks, see ya. And I came up and was totally just like given complete like, hey, what would you do? Here's a song. Just do what you think you should do to this. And he just gave me a, a ton of control and was just like, hey, do what you think you should do on these tracks. And it was really super, super. <laughs> 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 You hear things in 5.1 that you can't possibly hear in stereo. You hear all the work, all the craftsmanship that's been put into, you know, the recordings. Not only the, the song, but, you know, all the parts and sonically how it's put together. You know, it's sort of like taking a microscope and going, you know, in deep. And... Uh, that's what fascinates me about it. You know, I don't, I, 
I'm not sure where where it'll go from here. I mean, it must. There's always some other realm that is even greater and bigger and better. I don't know, but but this one's pretty exciting.